Welcome to Power User with Crash Long Johns. That's me. In previous episodes, I've showed you how to take MS Form Power Automate SharePoint combo. And we've also done some multi select to SharePoint. To continue with that theme, we're now going to look at a CAT2 MS Form multi select to Excel and separate that out into separate columns in the row. So let's kind of take a peek at that. As you see here, we got the MS form that we're kind of talking about, and it's got the actual like select multi select. And then for the Excel, what we're going to show you is how to get that broken out into these various different columns with road, mountain, gravel. Stick around and learn more. So let's get started and jump over the computer. Now that we're at the computer, you see that we have our MS form. It's got our multiple select choice here of our road, mountain, gravel, and our MS form. We have our Excel sheet that has a table in it. And in this case, we're going to look, getting back the ID of the form, the submitter, and the choices of road, mountain, or gravel that were selected. With this, this Excel can be stored in the OneDrive, in a group, in SharePoint, or also in a SharePoint uh, list or document library, excuse me. So let's go ahead and now look at what we need to do for automate. So here we have an automate. Again, it's an automated cloud flow. We got when a new response is submitted again from our MS form. So we're going to pick our form, which is going to be our multi select. We're going to do a new step. This skin is going to be our get response details. And we're going to pick our form. And we're going to sit there and get our response ID. And we're going to do a new step. And in this, in this point, what we're doing is we're going to go ahead and get a user profile because remember, I want to get the user submitter's name. So we're going to get get user profile. It's going to be an Office 365 user action. We're going to get user profile V2. And here we're actually going to get responders email. And we're going to do a new step. At this point, we're going to do add a row. Which is going to be our Excel online for business. We're going to add a row into a table. We're going to pick our location. Like I said it could be OneDrive, a group, or SharePoint. In my case, it's going to be a SharePoint site, which is Crash Long Johns. We're going to get the document library, which is going to be on our MS Forms Excel. The file is going to be our MS Form file. And we're going to select the table, which is table one. Now we're going to plug and chug like normal or a little bit here. So our ID, we're going to go ahead and get down here, which is our get response details. We're going to get actually when a new response, we're going to get a response ID. For submitter, we're going to go ahead and get this is where we're going to use our get user profile and we're just going to type in display name. We're going to pick display name. And now this is where we're going to use some expressions for the road, mountain, or gravel. So let's grab that expression. This is what the expression is going to look like. We're going to do if contains, we're going to insert our multi select question here in between the curly brackets. And that's actually going to be from your dynamic content. And then we're going to say what the actual contain is. In this case, we're looking for the road choice. And then yes or no. So what we're saying is like, hey, if it is true, we're going to say yes. If it's false, it's going to say no. We're going to do that for each of these. Let's go ahead and go down here. We're going to go to expression. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. And I'm going to go in here where those curly brackets are. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that curly bracket information. And I'm going to go back to my dynamic content. And in here, I'm going to go down and get my response details. I'm going to pick my type of trail. That's it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this whole thing now because I'm going to use it over and over again. So we're going to hit OK. I'm going to go to Mountain. I'm going to do Expression. I'm going to paste that in. Now, instead of Road, we're going to replace Road with Mountain. And hit OK. And go to gravel and hit our expression, paste, changing road to gravel. 
and hit OK. All right, so we're going to go ahead and save that because that's it. Let's go ahead and test this. We're going to do a manual. We're going to test. We're going to go to our form. Let's pick road and gravel, but not mountain, and go ahead and submit that. Let's go back to our automate. Show that it ran successfully. Let's go to our Excel sheet, and there it is. ID 1, Craig Gregory. Yes, no, yes. Perfect. Well, what if you don't want yes or no? So let's go ahead and edit. I can show you what else you could do if you just want to see, hey, is it checked or not? You can go to the end and for being true, you can just do a capital X and for no, just leave the single quotes blank in between. We'll go ahead and update that. And we'll go ahead and do that for our other two. So we're just going to put a big X. More and then we're going to go ahead and update and we'll just leave the last one with yes and no so we can see um, the difference. So let's go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and test and we'll do manual because we want another one. So Let's do road, mountain, gravel. So now they're all checked. Oh, let's leave one blank. So leave gravel blank because we know that's a yes or no. All right. So the automated has run again successfully. Let's go to our Excel sheet. There it is. So now you see that we have X's instead of yes or no. And then the last one still had the yes, no. So that gives you some options. So if you like this video, Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you for stopping by. Until next time, keep learning.